also watched yeah. last time I saw him, but that, that is... Some of us do okay. Man just made a bid for Mar-a-Lago. I guess some of us are doing okay. Some of us are doing yeah. good financially. Yeah. But watch this. So the rates this week, if your credit score is 720, you wanted to get a 30-year loan. On 720, a, pretty good. 720, pretty good. Yeah. 30-year loan, $500,000 today. Rates are on 8.1%. 8%, right? Your mortgage payment is 3677. Let me say it again. $500,000, 8%, 30-year, 720 credit. Today, 3677. 18 months ago, at 3%, the $500,000 loan, at 3%, 720 credit, 30 years, $2,100. Mm -hmm. So let me get this straight. The average person's watching this right now saying, okay, I'm going to go buy a house. How are you going to do it? And then the bank is going to go divide your income, your mortgage payment by 36%. Yeah. And if you do that at 2100 to qualify for that loan, you have to make $5,500 a month. Doable. We can do it. But to qualify for thirty-six seventy-seven, dollars you have right. to be around $10,000 a month. Who is making $10,000 a month right, right now? What's happened the last 18 months? Have people's income gone up the last 18 months? Mortgage applications are the, lo are the lowest we've had in 27 years. No one's trying to do anything with their houses right now. The people that own a house at 3% are not selling. The only people that are buying houses have cash. The average right. voter is sitting right now at, at home asking themselves, what the hell am I going to do? This are union people that are protecting our folks. The Writers Guild, 140 day, this, uh, uh, what do you call it? This the strike, strike that yeah. took place. Do you know finally today ended? And you know how these union leaders, how much money they were able to get for their employees, for their employees? 5% raise. A 5% right, raise. Probably less credit than to UPS. Yeah. Credit yeah. UPS got a lot of raise for them. Yeah. But Writers Guild, 5%. They haven't worked for 148 days. Mm -hmm. So then you go back to 1972, 25% of Americans in membership for union, 25% of us were part of a union. Today, that number is 6%. Mm -hmm. Americans right. don't want union anymore. Right. Private don't union. get involved in private, private union. Don't get involved in my life anymore. Mm -hmm. You're bothering me. So the conversation today about teachers union, when Chris Christie went after him, and he's talking about we got to get rid of some of these people, all I think about is the average person today sitting around thinking to themselves, how am I supposed to make it today? I don't. Are people working Uber late at night after mm -hmm. they come home, they put their kids to sleep mm -hmm. nine o'clock, they're working three, four hours? What kind of a life is that? What yeah. happened to this economy? So no, we need to we need to get the dream machine going again and get people to realize, listen, this is now it's supposed to be. We gotta go back to the market, we gotta go back to capitalism. If we do that, no one's saying go be a millionaire, go buy all these exotic cars. But hey, what if we can figure out a way to go back to you can start a business, small business. There used to be time forty nine percent of employees work for a small mm -hmm. business. That thing's going more and more about these bigger businesses so they can control them. All I think about is the average voter today is watching this tonight saying, is my life better today than it was four years ago? They're all scared today. That, I don't know how they're. I don't know how most of them are making it. That through. is way better analysis than I was going to do on the union thing because my main takeaway was that they all slept with Randy Weingarten, <laughs> wasn't that? <laughs> that, 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 that seemed to be the right? running theory. They yeah. were all like, "I slept with," and she's a lesbian. I don't know what was going on there. Um, what, what do you think on the economy stuff? It's like the Democrats yeah. are just the messaging is just easier right. and whatever. It's like we like you. I feel you like can... what Pat is saying is exactly what these candidates should be saying. Like I feel your pain. I know that sounds you know ridiculous, but the Clinton line. But honestly, they, I. I want to see emoting from them. Like, how are you doing this? How are you living your lives? And we understand how bad the inflation has gotten. And we understand that, you know, interest rates are just keep keep climbing and how hard it is to buy a home. I, I think that we, these people really need to connect to what is going on out there in the country and how people are hurting. I, you know, I talked to